Hello, this is Phil. The Rubik's Speed Cube is an interesting one. I like the soft buttery feel and how sturdy the puzzle is. It's difficult to disassemble and the tiles are scratch proof, which are good strengths in my book. However, I'm not a huge fan of the tiles as they are harder to grip for me. And while the corner cutting range is pretty good, the large cuts feel a bit too jarring. Lastly, the M slices were not very stable. Damien here. So my opinion on the Rubik's Speed Cube has changed a bit since my review from Worlds. While I still enjoy the feel, the blockiness and catching are turning me away from this puzzle. It's still miles ahead of anything Rubik has ever produced, but it does not compete with modern Speed Cubes. And at $19, there are much better options for less, in my opinion. My first impression of this puzzle was, oh no, my Rubik's Cube. But after playing around with it more, I realized it's actually an okay cube, and I can easily average sub 9 with it. I don't think it will be a main for many people, but it's still a good cube for beginners, and it's fun to solve. Hey, this is Jules. The Rubik's Speed Cube is definitely the best iteration of the Rubik's Cube to date. It has a nice soft feel in terms of performance and how the puzzle feels physically. This attempt to modernize the classic puzzle is great, but by comparison to other puzzles out today, it does leave a lot to be desired. The RSC features pieces that are similar to older Gans cubes. For example, the corners resemble that of the 356S. However, the center pieces are more squared off like the traditional Rubik's Cube. Also like the traditional Rubik's Cube, it has square tiles for the edges and corners. These are meant to be interchangeable so that if you lose them, you can easily replace them. However, the cube is still very catchy, and at its price point, I feel like there are many better options out there. 